Well, that was a success, folks. Chockers. Packed it in. Cleared him out. Good. Thanks, man. It's been a very, very slow and quiet week this week, and not in the sense of me actually slowing down and taking a little bit of a break this week, but actually just the volume of sales and you know revenue this week has actually been very, very quiet. But we'll get to that a little bit later. This week has all been about spending time on focus and planning how I was going to be building out and setting up the new storage unit, storage unit number three. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I have been sharing about those changes that were coming. And this week is really a bit more detail of that and actually then setting up the new storage unit. So that's what the whole focus of this video will be. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. If you are new here, my name's Chris and I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle. Now, I've been reselling, building a business for the last four years. This is my fourth year in doing so. And I've spent a lot of time in actually putting in things that are going to build the business from a longevity perspective. So I've now got two staff. I've got three storage units. I'm really going cost heavy in the sense of putting in early investments, to hopefully to see the return on investment down the line. And now that might take one or two years to actually get that result, but that's my approach. And that's so far, it's, it's working. I wouldn't say it's brilliant or perfect, but it's definitely working. And uh, this week is another episode of me just taking you through what the week has been like, sharing it in a vlog style. And really it's just been a bit of um, business as usual, just kind of trekking along, you know, pick packing and posting, all the usual stuff. But I did dedicate a lot of time to some planning. Um, I did have a ne another deal pickup, which is pretty cool. A big shout out to Oshbosh Finds and, and Forest Finds Online for that little hookup. And that will be later in the video. And then setting up storage unit number three, which was really the whole focus of this week. So I'm going to take you through that entire week. Uh, if you do want to see some of the financials of how we've landed for March 2024, I can't believe we're at the end of March already. I'll be uh, taking you through all those details at the end of the episode or the end of the video, but I'll also be taking you through some of the lessons and some of the takeaways that I've really just learned from this week as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. And if you do want to jump into some of the timestamps below, you can jump around. And of course, if you've got questions, chuck them down in the comments. I would love to have a question or two. Or if you've got any comments, by all means, chuck them down. Um, if you're going to be negative, hmm, probably not welcome. And we're back at Monday. Folks, I hope you're doing well. It's um, it's nine o'clock. Not a quick and early start this morning. Kind of been taking it slow. It's actually a bit weird because last week I had like washing pickup. I had... Um, drop-offs, I had um, the storage unit move, I had all these different things and I was super early last week whereas this week it was nice to kind of just take my time and um, I mean look we've still got lots of things happening this week but it's not as intense until the long weekend so really my intention for this week is to start to get ready to make the big changes between the three storage units so essentially storage unit one storage unit three are going to have some big changes to it to make things a bit more productive and a better workflow uh, so I've got to start to prepare for that. I'll be getting in uh, about, I think it's six or eight new, more rackings to go into the third storage unit and all that jazz. So, but really today the focus is just to do um, pick, pack and post. Just do the usual Monday madness kind of stuff. And just continue to uh, focus on probably more just, yeah, the daily necessity kind of stuff. And I do have my photographer in today, which makes things a bit better meaning I'll have some listings and photos done regardless. And yeah, look, when I get in, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll let you know if there's other things that I intend to do. But hopefully today won't actually be too crazy. I do have a pickup of some supplies tomorrow, um, just some trading card supplies. And then Thursday, I also have a bit of a uh, buyout for, from someone that's selling some video games. Uh, so it is still like a pretty you know busy week, uh, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to be intense as last week, except for the plans for the weekend where I'll do the big shuffle. Um, but yeah. Anyway, less on that. Let's uh, let's go to the storage unit. So hopefully Monday this time next week, or Tuesday because it is a long weekend you will be uh, seeing the new version of this. Um, all right, not too bad. Get things set up and then I'll get pick packing and posting. All right, we have a total of 22 items going out today and we hit $51,219 over the weekend, which is a big win. Um, we're already on track to do better this month than, than last month as well. So March should end up being 
well, it will be my best month yet, but in terms of revenue targets, oh, I'm hoping maybe hit hit that 20,000. Um, not many items over the weekend. It was kind of quiet compared to all things over the last couple of weeks, but um, I'm going to get this all out and then take you through some of the items, but I'll, I'll give you a bit of an overview anyway. So let's, uh, let's do this. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of books going out, a multi-quantity order here of just lots of North Face. This is all books, Dragonlance books. Someone purchased a big couple of bundles. They were already one big bundle. This is another bundle I'm gonna have to put into an extra large box. More books here, MacBook, as I said, um, and then just really bread and butter. We did sell this big boy. I picked this one up from Savers in one of my videos not that long ago. This is a, uh, what is it? An Ackerland, I think it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this all packed up. There's a bit of Lego in here too. Also a camera over there in another North Face. Um, actually, it's been just lots of clothes. Electronics have kind of cool, cooled down a bit, but I haven't been listing many electronics because I'm basically out of them. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs and stuff, but they usually come in waves. Uh, so let's get this all packed up. Shouldn't take too long, and then I can actually, looks like I'm gonna have a bit of a productive day in terms of getting some actual stuff done. Um, let's do it. Postage is all done, folks. I've just been actually pulling out a few things that I'll be just culling and getting rid of, and also getting into the next lot of stuff that I'll be photographing. As you can see, we've got some video games, we've got some books, we've got some more video games, we've got some Tarzos, a bunch of different stuff. So hopefully get all through that today. Even some multi-quantity listing stuff. And then, I mean, I've still got obviously heaps to go through. I'm just really picking out some quick wins Trying not to list anything that I have to reshuffle things too much, but um, yeah, but I'm gonna have some lunch now and then continue on. Folks, um, I finished up all the stuff that I added here. We've got it in here and I've got it in the other shop as well. Just getting some stuff out for tomorrow to do. We've got some cameras to do. We've got a DS there, this little Barbie, some Star Wars figurines, um, even a helmet. Um, got lots of. <laughs> Lots of boxes filled with uh, the clothing, which is continuing to be actually the challenge of still selling heaps, still doing great great weeks and all that, but the volume definitely still hasn't ticked over. So, um, yeah, we're getting a bit chockers again. Although we're probably ready for another consolidation to the point where it would actually probably um, actually probably fit. And if I actually have a look at my little tool that tells me how many I'll, if I was to consolidate today built this little tool that would say yeah, let's see if we were to do it um, there we go if we were to do it we would actually get seven boxes potentially back which is the space I need so we're actually we are actually moving the volume we need but just haven't had a big jump in it which is why I'm not really seeing the space but I think by the time Clear out the next storage unit, do the shuffle, this becomes all the clothing. We should be back on track and have that extra space of growth. And that's because we are doing so many in such a quick um, turnaround compared to what I was doing prior to January. So um, anyway, I'm pretty much finished for the day. I'm gonna be packing up shortly and getting out of here. Um, yeah, let's let's get this happening. All done, folks. I must say, like, it, it feels weird because um, I know there's going to be a lot happening at the end of this week, but last week was so busy, and today has been pretty, pretty relaxed, pretty chill, just taking my time, getting things done, and that's because last week there was just so many things happening. So it's good to have some of those balancing days where you have real busy, but also just where you can just get a whole bunch done. So I think we've probably done between the two of us 100, 110 items, um, which is really, really good in terms of new photos so or items photoed so that they can be turned into listings so that will go to my lister um, I'll get up those uploaded tonight and they should be done tomorrow or the next couple of days so there's no pressure on that either but it's more so um, my lister likes to usually do she does 40 at a time so um, in a sitting that is and I'm happy with that so all right I'm gonna get out of here ciao just like that, it was Tuesday. So today, um, kicking off the day a little bit different, I've got to go do a Pokemon or trading card supply pickup, uh, catch up with my mate Gary and um, get all that sorted. And then 
and, and sorry, this is not for Pokemon stuff necessarily, but from all the trading cards that I got from one of the big deals I got recently, I, I had run out of sleeves and I ran out of top loaders and things like that. And because there's probably a good 200, 300 cards, I wanted to make sure I've got the supplies and everything to sit down and actually just go through it all. Uh, so picking that up uh, today, and I've also got some Pokemon stuff that I'll be getting for um, getting for uh, the streams and whatnot. So go get that out of the hands. I'm on my way there now. And then we're just spending the day at the unit, just smashing through, hopefully, photos of more stuff. Uh, we also do have, uh, I think we've got about 15, it might even be 20 orders to go out, probably 15 more so, uh, that I'll be pick packing and posting as well. It was a very quiet day yesterday, like a really, really quiet. Well, when I say really, really quiet, compared to the last four weeks, it was really, really quiet. Um, so which is a bit annoying because I've been enjoying this momentum and this streak that we've had of, of of good sales and good ASP and good volume. So we'll see how we go today. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this and I'll touch in a little bit later. All right, folks, back at the unit, got the, all the Pokemon goodies. Um, I'm gonna get out a pick, pack and post happening. Just quickly take you through what we got. Um, what have we got happening today? Actually, we've only got 11 items. We're on 51, $245. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Just a lot of North Faces going out, actually. And a few pairs of jeans. So, should be a quick one. We've actually only just got jeans and North Face. That's it. Jeans and North Face. Very quiet this week compared to the last three, four weeks where we've had just... <laughs> it is really died up. It's probably to do with Easter, I reckon. Um, but, hey, we're charging. I've got some True Religion going out. Um, some Lee, lots of North Face, but nothing too crazy, just bread and butter, really. Some stuff's going over to the US, so that's not too bad. All right, postage is all packed. I'm not going to actually print it just off yet, just in case. I mean, it's only 12 o'clock. Maybe someone will buy something and I'll print it off at the very end. Um, I'm going to have some lunch. I've got some chicken, avocado, and cheese. And then I'm going to get into some of this stuff because... There's two things that are going to happen. I've got a whole bunch of cards that came through with the lot, uh, which I might actually start some of those today. Um, like I've got a lot here and in here. Um, I might start on that a little bit, but I've also got to do some prep work for um, uh, for the new series that I'm doing, um, the Pokemon Bund. So it's I'm a bit out of not out of sorts, not out of routine. I just I don't know. I it's I thought I had one more. I thought I had one more thrifting video for this week coming out, but I didn't. So I hadn't really planned ahead to have this video come out. But this video will be coming out instead of the thrifting video. So I've just got to get it done out of my normal routine. So kind of like a last minute scramble. But hopefully it should be alright. I'm going to film it here actually. So yeah, I am feeling a little bit oh, just tired and a bit woozy. So I'm going to just have some lunch, sit down, refresh, and then uh, get back into the day. Hello right, folks, now I'm here just doing some photos, I've done um, some Star Wars figures, I've done a Power Ranger figure, I've done some cameras, and I'm just moving on to other stuff. I actually did end up fielding, filming the video for the Pokemon Fund, and by the time of this video out, that video should actually be out as well. So if you watch the Pokemon Fund, let me know down in the comments, and let me know what you would like to see. Alright, almost finished up, just been doing some little Warhammer figurines and whatnot, which is pretty cool. I'm going to get this all packed up, and then I'm going to actually print out the post, had a couple more sales come through, and then I'm going to get out of here. Just really taking it easy this week, because last week I overdid it, and I'm feeling it this week. Just feel tired and exhausted, so really slowing it out this week. Um, and this weekend we've got the big shuffle between these two units, so it's going to make a big difference, and I want to make sure I've got some energy for that, so... Get this done, I've got to go upload, digitize all these um, notes and whatnot uh, for the lister. And uh, yeah, then it's nacho night tonight. Oh yeah. All right, folks, it's Wednesday and I've uh, just finished up at Backpacks. Actually, did a bit of overtime there. We've been actually trying to solve some problems around um, some of the serialization and barcodes in their inventory and, and, and in the warehouse and things like that. So it's actually really cool and interesting because it's stuff that's probably actually gonna be super relevant to me um, down the line so it's it's great to get the experience great to learn and figure things out and, and problem solve so um, that was pretty cool uh, we're just heading to the storage unit now and um, apparently there's been some issues with getting into the actual storage unit so 
some issues with the actual Bluetooth part component. So hopefully it's working now that I when I get there. Um, my photographer isn't in today, was going to be in, but just had some things pop up, so it isn't gonna work out that way today, which is fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna go do a bit of a pick, pack, and post, and I might do just a little bit of a shuffle of some things before the big move on the weekend, before we do the big rearrange. Um, so I'll probably do that. It is already one o'clock. By the time I get there, it'll be about 1.15, 1.20. Uh, get that out of the way. So yeah, probably won't have a crazy big big day at doing it, uh, doing stuff today. But the other thing that I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is this week eBay has been dead. Like it's, it's it, look, I'm not gonna lie. This stuff, it freaks me out. It makes me nervous every time. You do the process, you're getting good weeks. I've had, what, three, four weeks there of some crazy results. Um, and then just just dies off, goes absolutely dead. Like having like two, three sales, whatever, like compared to having 15. Um, and it is, it, it, it really does play with my mental head. Not that it's about vanity metrics or anything like that, but actually more so because I'm making decisions on the basis of things going in the way they should be. So to have things all, all of a sudden slow down, um, seem odd and this is why when I t tell people about before I get into a warehouse I need to have consistency of a certain number for a certain amount of months before I even make that jump it needs to make sense so it's a bit weird it's a bit odd it's a bit nerve-wracking but uh, look it's still been a very solid month now uh, this week's just crawling along uh, I believe it's probably to do with Easter people are just spending money elsewhere uh, but in the last 24 48 hours the amount of cancellations I have had has been ridiculous like I'm, I'm not kidding like seven or eight people have uh, come through and made some big cancel not even big cancellations just $20 items um, $25 items just really annoying it's just time wasting to be honest but um, a little annoying I'm just having a bit of a rant here anyway we're gonna head to the storage unit I'll take you through some of the stuff that I'm gonna do and uh, yeah so um, let's do it Just having some lunch and I'm actually also signing up for my 50k ultra marathon for this year. The, um, the race just opened, so I'm going to dive in and get myself a spot. Alright, so we have a total of uh, nine items going out. And I tell you, the, something really interesting that I want to take you guys through is the 90 day total update change came onto the eBay app. And it says this only includes basically sales that have been completed, meaning it removes any unpaid orders, any cancels or any refunds. So early in the week, I showed you that I hit 51,400 and something. Anyway, I've just updated the app. I almost fell over because it's crazy to think how much unpaid orders and how many uh, cancellations there have been and things like that, because my number is now only this. 45739, which just means there was about 6,000 in unpaid orders and cancellations um, that people haven't gone through with, which is just insane. So my real number is actually this, and uh, doesn't really change anything. Still huge growth that I've seen, but it was just a big, bit of a big shock. It just goes to show how much time waste and money waste the cancellations or people not paying and things like that. Uh, really convert into. So anyway, I'm going to get packing. Um, we've got um, a whole bunch of Dragonlands going out. These are multiple orders. We've got some phones going out. Um, I did sell one of the Dalmatian shirts, uh, jacket sweaters that I got from Philippines. Unless they're just bread and butter, just some Tommy H stuff. So I'm going to get this packed up. Quick little update. Been doing some uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Just done a few. Nothing too many. Um, I'm actually just... I've got my live stream tonight and I've been super tired this week. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of planning and take some time and just continue to plan out for the weekend. So if, if you've forgotten or if you've clicked over here on the weekend, this is all getting rearranged. So I've got to do a little bit of planning for that. I also um, picked up um, a couple of um, just some portable little shelvings that can move around in between the units which will help with the move but also help with just getting things out and making life a little bit easier um i was doing a little bit of a uh a zoom out i've got this uh, little tool that i've created that's called when you feel like things aren't working uh zoom out here and basically 
you won't be able to see it in heaps of detail, but it basically has all the stats over the last four years. This is my fourth year across volume of sales, across um, revenue per week, and across ASP. And this is basically showing me where I am at this point in time compared to the other weeks. Now, some of this is skewed because obviously at the time of comparing this week, we haven't finished the week. So of course it's gonna have a huge drop, but it goes to show you the volume of sales is really, really low this week so far. But the green is still above average. If we look at revenue per week, the uh, revenue is really down, but we're actually still above year one and year two, even though we're doing really, really low. But by the end of the week, we should still work out being higher than week uh, year three and then the same similar story for ASP so it does help me give some perspective that one day or one week does not dictate the rest of the story um, it's just a bit of a reminder to you I was having a bent about it earlier so I'm just sharing how I kind of manage that um, so I'm going to do a little bit of planning just see if there's anything else that I can prep for in, in lead up to the weekend I actually have another deal I'm picking up tomorrow I've just got to think and plan about that a little bit as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of that and then it'll be almost home time. Just waiting for the school traffic to basically finish up and then I'm getting out of here. So, All right, team, it is Thursday and it's another beautiful day. Um, today we're actually going to do a pickup from Oshbosh Finds. Um, shout out to, well, shout out to Oshbosh Finds and also shout out to Forest Finds Online. So Forest Finds Online, he, well, I mean, I already knew Oshbosh Finds, but we haven't really connected up before. Um, anyway, long story short is, I've got a chance to pick up some video game stuff, um, so we're gonna go do a deal. Gonna get that out of the way first, heading there now, then we're gonna go to the unit. I'll do the usual PPP, pick, pack, and post, and uh, then really just start to see what I can do in advance of, to, uh, of Saturday for the big shuffle and big changes that I'll be making at the shop. Uh, today I will try and do some quick win listings as well if I can possibly it all just depends on what time I get back to the unit and things like that uh, but really I'm trying not to pull anything else out to process because I'm going to be doing a big shuffle over the weekend and I really just want to focus on making sure that's going to be as smooth as possible so I did get two trolleys that came through yesterday which I'll be setting up today as well uh, so I'll be really just doing a lot of prep work getting things ready and then when I finish up at the unit today, I'll be moving things so that when I come in Saturday morning, I'm actually getting the whole family to come. I've, I've uh, commandeered them and payment will be Japanese buffet dinner. So uh, that's on Saturday. So we're gonna do all that. So I just wanna make that as smooth as possible. Um, that's, that's really, cause I'm not gonna work tomorrow. If I do, it'll just be listings at home or like just doing some admins or whatever. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to go into the unit tomorrow cause tomorrow is Good Friday. Alright, enough on that, let's go get this deal and then, uh, yeah, take you through all the goodies. Alright folks, here I am with Pat, Oshbosh Finds, go check him out on Instagram and we've got quite the, I wouldn't say it's his collection, but <laughs> just just lots of goodies. Um, lots of goodies, lots of random stuff. I'm just starting to go through it now, so I figured I'd show you all what there is and then I can show you later what I get. Thanks for the opportunity, man. No worries, thanks Cheers. for coming down. <laughs> Well, it was a success, folks. Chockers. Packed it in. Cleared him out. Good. Thanks, man. Cleared out the garage for me. Yeah, that's it. Keep the happy, uh, the wife happy, right? That's it. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. No worries at all. Good luck. Well, 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 folks. Um, a big, big thank you to Pat and also Christian for the, the hookup. Um, we basically purchased everything that was there. And that, that was the plan. He did pull out a few other bits and bobs that... Um, that we found and sp spent up, paid, I um, hope you don't mind me disclosing, uh, Pat, we spent 600 bucks, uh, got a van full of goodies, a whole bunch of different stuff, a lot of consoles, uh, got some Lego, also got uh, some books, just some sci-fi stuff and a few other bits and bobs as well. So pretty happy with this. Um, it's great being able to do some deals and to be able to, you know, make everyone happy and walk away where, you know, no one's feeling bitter or anything like that. Uh, so, I mean, if anyone does have stock that, look, I'm not going to be buying everyone's stock for the sake of buying stock, but if you've got a collection, if you've got stuff that potentially you want to get rid of um, or move along, happy to have the conversation. Obviously, I'm paying st prices that obviously make me money, um, but if we can come to an arrangement, I'll, I'll make it work with you. Uh, so, yeah, it was really good. Um, probably more stuff than I wanted, uh, which, I mean, it isn't a, isn't a bad thing. It's just a timing thing because obviously I'm rearranging the storage unit at the moment. So 
a lot of this I'm probably going to have to take home and then after the weekend once we've done the shuffle I will uh, be able to bring it back and sort through it um, properly so not a bad problem to have stock is always good uh, so yeah not too bad I'm going to head to the unit now do a pick pack and post and then um, work on the next problem to solve <laughs> uh, but yeah pretty good Alright team, we're here now. I've just bought up some of the quick wins. I might actually list some of this stuff today, but um, let's see what we've got going out today. It's still been very quiet. I'm currently way below targets for the week, which is um, very frustrating, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, so we have a total of... What do we got here? We've got a total of 10 items to go out. Sorry. And uh, we've got a bit of clothing. Actually, it's all just clothing. It's all just clothing and some model cars. So, interesting times. I've been selling a lot of Tommy H, actually. Um, I'm going to get this out, and then I'm going to create these, and then I'm going to do that. My photographer's coming in to do some work. Should get some listings done. Should be good. Do postage first, and then I'm going to have some lunch. This one actually has to be probably one of the coolest sales. Um, nice little Sherpa. Super cool. Alright, starting on trolley number one. Alright, trolley one is done and it's got all the electronics on at the moment and trolley two is also done. Alright, we've now shuffled everything to the side. This is also the big lot that I got today. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow all this will be racking. And then we will do this side and move everything across and hopefully solve some of the problems. We will see. We will see. And not tomorrow. This is on Saturday. This is all chockers in here as well. We just moved all the clothing into here. And yeah, wish us luck. Folks, we've got Carla with us too. She's just having some snacks. Um, all right, so today is, uh, what is today? Saturday. A bit out of routine, but uh, where I've actually commandeered the entire family <laughs> with uh, Japanese all you can eat to come help me do the shuffle of uh, the unit. So today we're setting up unit number three to make sure that it's productive, that it's got shelving in it, and all, all that jazz. Um, so it's going to be all hands on deck. I won't be documenting heaps as I go, probably more of a before and after just because we kind of don't want to be here all day. And um, yeah. But I'll bring you along for the ride for a little bit. I'll show you what it is at the start. Maybe show you some other things that we're doing along the way. And then of course, I'll show you the uh, the end result. So uh, come along for a quick little sticky beak and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, we are here. This is the before, just getting some lighting set up. And we'll be changing all this. No real changes in here today. And pulling out some of this as well so see the changes this is all the electronic stuff that will come out and that will go all the way into the back one all right it is now three o'clock we're basically at the end of it now and this is the new view nice lighting in here um this is all basically non non-clothing We've got books, electronics, and it'll continue to extend out. There's left a few spaces for a few things that I know are going to be skewed there. Um, these are all empty tubs from all the stuff that was in the middle. And basically, now I've put all that stock here. Um, and this is not sorted, but I've got it out so at least I can see. I can start to go through, pull things out, whether it's been, whether it's worth it, whether it's not. Um, and it just frees up the space. I'm going to bring in all the extra bales of clothes and stuff that I had to bring them back into here because they're in the other unit at the moment and then what will happen in here is this will be tables for sorting and, and things like that but all these tubs are basically going to use for getting rid of excess and stuff like that this is all video games um, and that's stuff I've culled that's all the packaging there's some <laughs> there's actually some washing in there to go still got a few things here that I've got to go through that's um, boxed and listed Lego um, and then my backup plan is if I still need more space as I continue to grow, there'll be another line of shelving down here. So 
I'm very happy. Very, very happy with this. It's, uh, it's very good. A whole new setup. All right, so now I've got back all the clothes back in here, the ones that we've still got to sort through, but still plenty of space in here. Um, these are all empty, so they'll go. Uh, oh, so happy with this. And then in here, I haven't got the light on here, sorry folks, but it's a bit dark, but back to normal. This will be the first stuff I have to list now that I can put it in a new home. This still has to be set up and decked out fully so things can be plugged in instantly to be tested. And then, oh, check out this little guy that I got. This one's now got extra space on it. We've got a little little one living over here in the corner. Thanks for your help, babe. And then this is the new setup in here, actually. It's just all clothes, which is great. And we just did a big consolidation. So we've obviously gained space and gained an extra two shelves as well. Ah, <sighs> happy days. There's a lot of stuff that I still got a stock take on and, you know, start to pull out, discount, all that jazz. But now that it's all in here, it gives me a good visual aspect of what's old and what's new. Like at the moment, we still have SKUs all the way back from 638 and we're currently up to like 5,349 or something. So it goes to show what I can start to cull, uh, which doesn't make sense anymore. What do you think, babe? Well done. Yeah. Good effort Thank today. you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let that soak in. We're gonna have some uh, all-you-can-eat Japanese for dinner, and then uh, still got a fair bit of more things to organise and just get into play in here. But this is a game changer. Appreciate you all, and I'll see you next week. So there you go. That is a wrap. It's been look. It's it's still been a very good week. Like it's been a bit slow. I've been totally exhausted from the last couple of weeks of really just having so much intensive jumping around between different deals and setting up different storage units and things like that. But it was nice to kind of slow down a little bit this week, but I'm super happy how this new unit has turned out. I've still got a couple of things that I need to do. I need to empty some boxes, like clear the empty boxes out of the way as well. I need to sort through some of that inventory. I've just put it on the shelves so I can understand what I've actually got in stock and I need to process it. I, I still need to go through and actually go through this process of actually understanding is it worth to sell, is it worth bundling, or is it worth getting rid of, and et cetera, et cetera. But look, there's still a couple of things that I need to do to tweak the flow, um, but unit three is essentially the incoming of inventory. Yes, one wall is gonna be used for non-clothing inventory that's listed, that's on eBay, but the rest of it is really just for incoming of stock and where I can prep and prepare that stock in terms of, you know, do I wanna sell it? Uh, unit two is then processing the inventory. So photos, cleaning, uh, testing, prepping, all that kind of stuff. And then unit one is basically all outgoing inventory. So that's where I pick, pack and post, but also where I'm storing all of the clothing, which is about 80% of my business. So some of the lessons for this week was one, the first thing was giving myself some time to rest. It was much needed because the last four to five weeks, as massive as they, as they have been with the amazing growth, we've seen incredible growth. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of hard work and I took Good Friday off, which is expected, but really just enjoyed that downtime. And I think I had to also spend the time to obviously think about the move and the adjustments that I was making to the, um, to the storage units, but it was just nice to really take it a bit easier this week. Now that we have actually done that storage unit and after a couple more tweaks, there's still going to be a whole bunch of obstacles and things that I need to overcome and you know, work through the challenges as I continue to progress forward. And that kind of leads me to the importance of, I guess, lesson number two for this week, which is the importance of implementing. This week was being really, I slowed down on myself doing the listings or the photos. Obviously, my photographer was still doing stuff, but I have been spending a lot of time and actually setting up things for the better of the business, right? So better processes, better productivity, better throughput and better workflow. And by doing that, spending a little bit of time to invest, so other things had to take a little bit of a break, it enables a larger long-term flow for the output of the business. In theory, of course, I've still got to make sure things are working and that there's no friction points. Um, but there are still a whole bunch of other obstacles that I still, still need to focus on now, now that I've achieved that little you know, hump or obstacle in the road. And that is, I have to clean up and enable the electronic testing station for better and less friction. I've got that big, big volume of uh, electronics that came through just the other week. I haven't started on that. And I, this is then testing that process again from what I set up a couple of, must have been about six weeks ago. So there's always little improvements that we can be making. 
The other thing is just making sure I can now ease out any of the friction points between the three units, working between three units. Obviously, there's a wall between those three units. Um, and then setting up some new processing of stock rules. I've been getting a lot of bulk deals in the last three weeks, four weeks even, which has been really great. And if anyone has those kind of deals or looking for that kind of, you know, to move that kind of stuff, more than happy to have the conversation. But just building a bit of a, a guidance system in terms of, you know, what am I selling? What am I bundling to sell? And what am I culling or not worth selling? So really making sure I'm putting in some tight rules around that. But then also clearing out some of the old stock that I actually removed from the store Jeepers, before I went to the Philippines last year, and I've got probably about 500, 1,000 books, which I've already working on a few people on, on some of those um, sales as well. But getting rid of that kind of stuff just to get some cash flow before we get to the end of the financial year and just get back some of those things, really just to bank some of those dollar redos. Uh, so that's that's really the lessons and the takeaways from this week. Uh, if you are here for the financials, we're going to dive into that now. So as I was saying uh, earlier, that this week, the it's actually been a pretty low week. It's been pretty quiet in terms of volume, in terms of revenue as well, which is a bit surprising after the run that we had for the last four to six weeks. Actually, at the time of this video, I haven't even hit my normal quota that I would really like to hit per week. So that should have changed by the time this video comes out because it's, it's just start, start of the morning on Sunday. Um, but actually, I've, I've got this little tool that I've been comparing my tracking over each week over the last three to four years. So this is my fourth year. So over the last three years, actually, if you have a look at this, the dip actually around this time of the year, every year there is a dip. Um, and it's right here. So the green is current year and all the others are previous years. And last year we had a big dip this time of the year as well. And it looks like there is an average trend across the last three to four years as well. So it's expected, I guess, with the holidays and Easter and school holidays and just, yeah, different things happening for people in terms of priorities and where they want to be putting their, their dollar reduce, which, which makes sense. And I suspect hopefully we'll start to see a bit of a, a ramp back up over the next probably three, three weeks or so. Now with that, I also wanted to address one thing that I, I showed in the video before I get to the final dollar reduce, but you know, this week I also saw eBay did their update to their 90 day total and how they track that on, um, how they track that on the eBay app. And look, it was a bit of a surprise because I went from doing like 51 and a half thousand all the way down to like, I think it was like $46,000 or something, which which was a bit of a surprise for me. I think it was 45,000. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I did some little, you know, detailed analysis to really understand, okay, well, that's now not including cancellations and returns. Now I've only got a 1.87% return rate over the last 90 days. So not very much. And, you know, a lot of that is just clothes and actually that's that's pretty much all it is. Just people changing their mind or didn't fit, etc. Um, but basically, after doing the analysis, I can see, and this is insane, that I have basically lost $6,000 in revenue simply because people have cancelled transactions or they did not pay, which, oh, jeepers, that's that's a lot, right? That's That's a lot to the top line and there'll be obviously some... There would have been some positives there for the bottom line in, in the profits, but $6,000. Um, so, oh, jeepers, it, I would love to know from you guys, how much of a drop did you guys see? And it's something which good now, I mean, it's good now that we can see the reality of what we're actually doing, but it was a bit of a, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> and it did give me a bit of a scare, but uh, I just wanted to kind of address that and make sure people understand that, um, you know, when we do see those 90 days, there's a lot of context that goes behind it. All right, so how has March gone? At the time of this video, it is, or well, me recording it, is 9.46 a.m. on a Sunday morning, which is the 31st of March. So by the time you actually see this, I will actually put in the latest figures that I've got when I actually make this edit. But essentially, March, we have done over $20,000. I didn't, I, I, I had a goal to get 20,000 this year, but I didn't expect it to be this quick. Now, of course, there's going to be expenses and of course, there's going to be costs. So at the moment of me actually doing this right now, my operating profit is $3,955. So we're sitting at a 19.11% profit margin, which is, you know, look, compared to last month, I think, look, it's really, really good. We're, we've seen an uptick. I'm just reading this off another screen. But last month we did around 15.95% in our net profit. We've done 19.11. And look, we have had an increase to um, a bunch of different things. We've seen an increase, well, sorry, a consistency in ASP. We've had an increase to sales and volume. Uh, we have had a little lower to cost to sell and sales are up per day. I have missed out on the rebuy opportunity. Uh, look, at the time of me doing this video, we're sitting at about, uh, it must be 0 093 meaning every item I sell, I'm not really making the full 100% to rebuy it. But that's, we're basically 10 notches up from last month, which is nice. 
Um, and the other thing is, it's just nice to see that beautiful volume. And still, a lot of this has been clothing. A lot of it has been, obviously, a lot of the collectibles and things that came through this this month from all those deals. But it's just really encouraging to see those dollars come through. And we had a big post supply expense this month. I purchased like $600 worth of postage supplies. And I've actually been paying my employees or my staff and um, sorry, my, my one staff and then my, my lister, who's a contractor, um, more this month because we've been doing more this month. So the costs are up, but we're actually revenues up and profits are up. So it's a win-win. It is a win-win. Take into consideration that this is my current operating profit for this month. And this doesn't include tax. It doesn't include GST because that rounds out on a quarterly basis and at the end of the year anyway, which I talk about at the end of the year. Um, if you do have questions about that, more than happy to answer anything there. But it's just been really, really encouraging to see this. I'm not going to lie though, moving now into April, it scares the hell out of me because can I do this again? And I know I said this last month and we did 16 last month and here we are doing 20. But to keep that momentum, it's it's hard work and it's not easy. <laughs> and it scares me because obviously I'm driving and riding this whole process with a lot of costs and a lot of expenses. And, you know, it, it all works assuming that things are ticking over. So it was nice to see the volume of sales go up and the ASP stay. It'd be good if I can still continue to keep that ASP and have the volume continue to increase. Uh, so... It's been very rewarding. One thing I will say though, say though, is my cost on average to, to operate the business on a daily basis is $335 per day. That is how much per day it costs me to run my business. Um, that's paying staff, that's postage, that's fees, it's everything. So my full operating expenses, staff, rent, everything else. Uh, so it makes you think that I need to basically be doing $336 in profit per day in order to be actually be... Uh, <laughs> to be profitable, which which is super high. And that is still a challenge I'm working on resolving, but this is still my best month yet. And I haven't had this profit for like six months either. So it's really rewarding. It's really rewarding. So all those that have come along for the ride, for the, for, especially for this uh, year, I appreciate the sport. I really do. Um, we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. But now that we've got the third unit, I can kind of refocus my time of just doing work and just, you know, starting to increase listings and things like that. And then uh, I work on the next next little uh, goal that I have, which we won't talk about that today, but really just going to enjoy this moment while it lasts. And then we start April fresh from the time you're actually seeing this episode. It will be April the 1st already. This is no joke. <laughs> We're moving onwards and upwards. Really do appreciate you be, being here. If you do have questions, again, please chuck them down below. Uh, otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.